What's up guys, Tucker Jobs Gaming here and I had a message on my Twitter asking me to do a tactic for a fan of the channel and uh, he's called it the Mrs. Chinandlebong uh, 4231 tactic and he uh, asked for me to do the tactic review on Dortmund and then I also decided to try it out on Derby County in the uh, EFL Championship. So uh, yeah. Let's see how this goes, and uh, unfortunately, because he sent me the tactic through pictures, and there was no download link for it, uh, you can't download it, but you can just follow the instructions in video to replicate the tactic, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Nah, Dortmund, awesome team, and it, uh, it did very well for Dortmund, this tactic did, and uh, yeah, use it, it seemed alright for, uh, for a strong team, and let's get on with the video. They took our jobs! What's up guys, Tucker Jobs Gaming here and in this episode of Tactic Testing and Tactic Instructions I am doing a fan made one. Um, he contacted me on Twitter and he asked me to try out and do a review on his tactic. I presume it's his and uh, yeah. So he's called it the Miss Chenandler Bong. It is a friend's reference if you didn't know that so... Uh, yeah, obviously it consists of an advanced forward, uh, an in inside forward left, and a inverted winger right, advanced playmaker, a uh, ball winning midfielder, Mozilla, two wing backs, two ball playing defenders, and a sweeper keeper. Um, unfortunately, this was not a downloaded tactic as he sent it me through pictures. So the only way to replicate this tactic if you wanted to use it for your team would be to just follow the instructions on the video. I go through all of the instructions that I needed and luckily um, there isn't any instructions for set pieces or throw-ins um, and the only player instructions are for the two centre-backs so I'm going to do that now. So the player instructions are ball playing defender left and ball playing defender right. That's it. So it is an attacking mentality tactic. Um, I tried it on the balanced uh, one and I think that's what he originally had it on uh, I understand that he did it on the positive uh, mentality and does did pretty well with it but I went with the attacking mentality I thought it might work better and right so in position attacking width wide so you are more, mainly focusing on the attacking side of your game uh, using your wings using your inside and inverted wingers and obviously your uh, left back and right back Approach play, pass into space, uh, play out defence and overlap on the left and that is it. So yeah, I've I've noticed that obviously he fa his favour in this left hand side um, I think is wanting obviously Rios and, and Haaland to link up a little bit better. Maybe that Guerrero on the uh, left back to uh, to do a bit of work as well. Uh, pass into space, it's always good for the likes of Jaden Sancho and Thorgan Hazard and people like that because the good dribblers are pretty quick and they can beat their men. Uh, passing directness slightly shorter slightly shorter uh, is the aim to do that to keep possession um, small passes nothing too drastic nothing too dangerous or risky uh, helps keep possession and maybe uh, a better chance of working the ball to the uh, goal high tempo high tempo playing slightly faster football uh, work ball into box uh, a lot of tactics do this who want to score uh, high goals because it helps you retain retain possession because you're not doing daft shots and you're waiting for the more opportune moment to score whilst uh, whilst passing around that box area. Uh, run at defence and be more expressive. So being more expressive is the creative freedom of your team. If your team are creative, good technique, good passing, they can they've got a bit more free reign. You're letting them loose that little bit more um, to basically do what they want. And if you want a little bit more explanation, we'll have the creative players the freedom to play the game with additional vision and flair outside their tactical setup. That is the exact wording of that. A run at defence, again, run at defence is the uh, instructs players to run at the opposition more than the tactic allows them. And uh, yeah, looking pretty good so far. Obviously, you've got the likes of Shanzo and Rios and Thorgan Hazard, and they, they can do that kind of stuff. Uh, in transition, counter press, counter. Uh, yep, yeah, so you're going to lose the ball. You're going to try and get it back as quick as possible by pressing the opposition. And when you do win the ball back, your team will be ready to counter. Uh, goalkeeper, when they're in possession, you distribute quickly. Uh, and that quick distributing quickly will be distributing to the fullbacks and centre-backs and you'll be rolling that out to them to start the play. 
out of possession. I, uh, much higher line of engagement and a much higher defensive line and a standard defensive width. So uh, you, you're keeping your defensive width pretty normal. A lot of the times I see narrow because it seems to help. But uh, you're not using any offside trap. Uh, tighter marking you are using and more urgent pressing intensity. Um, so you are slightly going to try and go after the ball more. But you're not doing it so it's extremely urgent where your players are going to be well out of position just so they can get the ball back um obviously your line of engagements and defensive lines are higher so you are higher up the pitch naturally so when you do win the ball back you're already up there and uh yeah like i said there's no um free kick or corner instructions with this tactic uh so yeah okay everyone is looking pretty good let's go back onto tactics here and right so my selection advice uh this was a quick pick best 11 all right this is the best possible team stats wise algorithm wise that can go into this team um a lot of people like to play sancho on the left uh but rios seems like the better player uh, for that position so i'm putting sancho on the right hand side i'm sure he's going to do pretty well i might even switch it up obviously he might play in both wings throughout the season and uh yeah, so this is Borussia Dortmund. See how they do in the Bundesliga. And obviously at the end of the video, I'll be uh, I'll be showing you um, this tactic in Derby County in the Championship. So, right, I'm going to start doing these videos, by the way. I, I think I spend a little bit too much time in the January uh, section of the video. Uh, so I'm going to quickly go to January. I'll show you the position where they are in the league. Uh, a small little chat about it. And then I'll go to the end of the season. I think it's uh, I think it's best that you guys come on here to see if tactic works. And by showing you January, I'm not really showing you the important stuff. Um, because you're like, well, that's January. Anything can change between now and the end of the season. So I'll just have a quick little talk about January and then I'll show you end of the season. So yeah, I'll see you in January. <laughs> right, we are in January. Quick little chat about this section. And we are first. We've only lost two games, drawn two, 113, 26 goal difference and 41 points. Erlen Haaland is absolutely smashing the German league at the minute. The 19-year-old, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, if you do have the money or any way of getting him, I highly recommend it. He is a striker for a good 10 years. All right? And obviously until an you know, amazing regen comes along and, and takes over. But yeah, average rating. Guerrero and Haaland are there. Marco Marco Rios is there, second on the assist with seven. Haaland on player of the matches with four. You got Berkey on uh, clean sheets. Uh, yeah, everyone's doing absolutely fantastic. Um, halfway through the season, I'm not worried about anything whatsoever. And as you can see here, let me just show you the quick stats for the team. Overall, best player by far. It well not by far by point one is Marco Rios. Uh, 7 and 11 then Haaland and then Guerrero then Sancho Sancho's doing pretty good uh, he is currently predominantly playing on that left hand side so yeah he might have put it on the right but it soon changed to the left and um, he scored 12 goals assisted 7 Erling Haaland 24 in all competitions and 3 assists real 7 and 11 everyone's doing pretty well um, I've gone back onto the tactics and Sancho has found himself on that left hand side because um, yeah he does better than he cuts in with his right foot and shoots all right, that's a quick little update on midway through. I'll see you at the end of the season. Right, end of the season. And yeah, Tactic has done absolutely amazing. Erlen Haaland on 35 German League goals. He surely scored more than that in all competitions, but he has absolutely stormed it. Average rating, all three players, Rios, Guerrero and Haaland. Assist, Guerrero and Rios against 17 and 13. Haaland, player of the matches, we came first. Berkey came joint first on clean sheets. And we got no yellow cards in the top three. Uh, that's a change. Most of my tactics normally have uh, at least one player in there racking up those uh, yellow cards or maybe even a few reds. Um, but no, we uh, won 24, drawn two, only lost six on 76 points. We were 10 points above second place. Uh, I'm very surprised that Bayern Munich didn't come second. And uh, yeah, awesome. And uh, everything's looking pretty good. The players themselves in all competitions, Erling Haaland actually scored 47 goals in 48 games. He's a keeper. He's an absolute keeper. 
Rios 13 and 19, Guerrero 3 and 19. That Guerrero has done amazing on that left back side, uh, racking up 19 assists. He's been absolutely phenomenal. And there's only 26. I mean, he's got some good years left in him yet. Uh, then you've got Hakimi 3 and 12, Witzel 8 and 5, um, Jaden Sancho. Uh, I'm very surprised actually that he only got an average rating of 7.18 because he turned out having 18 goals and 14 assists. Uh, he's the Basically, he had the same standards as uh, Marco Rios, so his left and right sides did very well. Um, Rios was definitely all out on the right, and Sancho on the left. Uh, I've showed you before, that is pretty much the setup um, of the team. Uh, maybe a few changes throughout the season to rest players, but that's my first strongest 11. And yeah, I'm happy at that. I'm pretty sure uh, FM Loyalty will be happy at that. He's the one that gave me the Tacticon pictures, I've already said. Unfortunately, you can't download it, so you have to follow the instructions of the video. Luckily, there isn't too many uh, individual instructions or any at all on set pieces and corners, so it should be fairly easy to copy if you wanted to use it. And yeah, so looks out. let's have a look at the school competitions first. Like I said, we won the uh, Bundesliga. Uh, unfortunately, we got knocked out in the quarterfinal by Liverpool in the European Champions Cup. That's a shame. But the top scorers in, for our team in that uh, competition was Erling Haaland. Uh, we won the DFB Cup. Um, Erling Haaland again, top scorer for us. And we were the runners-up in the German Super Cup. Um, obviously, that's just the, the one game, isn't it? So, yeah, we lost 3-2 against Bayern Munich. So that's a shame. Obviously, Lewandowski was a uh, look at him. He's good, isn't he? <laughs> 20 balance but yeah no pretty good season we uh, got a double um, did pretty fairly well in the Champions Cup obviously knocked out by Liverpool that's a shame but yeah obviously Liverpool are amazing and uh, I'm happy at this the schedule let's have a look at some of the wins and losses 8-1 against Mainz look at that 5 goals for Haaland awesome Hoffenheim 3-0 Bayern Munich beat them in the league 4-2 then you got Word of Brennan, 2-0. Freiburg, 4-0. Chalker, Wolfsburg. I mean, some brilliant wins. Union Berlin, 8-0. It's a big game. Well, not a big game, but a big scoreline. Yeah, there's some, um, quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of games in here with a decent scoreline. That might be it. Might be a decent tactic. And uh, I know that he has Bruce at Dortmund in his name. I uh, obviously are on the Discord chat. He's got FM loyalty, Bruce A. Dortmund. I'm guessing Bruce A. Dortmund is one of his favourite teams. He likes to play them. And he's purposely made this tactic for them and for their strengths. And uh, yeah, it did well. Did very well indeed. Uh, let's have a look at some of the analysis of the goals. So, goal locations and goal. Scored 120 total, only letting 49. That's not bad. Uh, a couple of I've seen better. High scores, lower conceded. Uh, but no, it's uh, pretty good. Obviously, we won the league, so it's done its, done its job, hasn't it? Um, most of the goals, as in the instructions of working the ball into the box, will be in the box. 50, uh, 70, 100, 110 inside the area. Uh, a couple on the outer ring, they could be free kicks. And two wonder goals from the centre of the uh, pitch or behind. Ah. So, assist locations. Right, at right-hand side. Even though Guerrero and... Um, Sancho got some decent assists. It doesn't show too much on this left-hand side here. It's mainly on the right. So that right-hand side, that Rios is doing absolutely amazing. Um, I'm guessing Jaden Sancho, most of his assists uh, are going to be coming in when he comes inside. He's going to come inside to this area around here or maybe inside the box and most of his assists came from that area. Um, whereas Marco Rios's would have stayed maybe on this right-hand side. And again, with uh, Guerrero, maybe he is drifting around more the central area and doing the long balls forward, the long crosses, uh, or coming inside just around this section and doing it here. Obviously, 12, they are doing some from there, but I know them two together picked up a lot of assists, so they're not doing it all there. They're coming in a little bit. Uh, but this right-hand side looks better, and obviously working ball into box, your players are all going to be passing around this area, and it shows because you've got the uh, higher 
assist there. Obviously, 11 uh, in the central area or behind. Uh, they could be the ball playing defenders. I've already said it could be the left back, right back doing the long crosses, the long pings. Um, or it could be your uh, your midfielders uh, dropping deep and doing the long ball. Um, or maybe every now and again you get the goalkeeper do a big long kick, go straight to your uh, forward, and they end up scoring. So sometimes your goalkeeper can rack up some uh, some assists there. But no, everything went well, and I'm happy at that. Bundesliga Championos. Um, so yeah, let's uh, try this tactic on Derby County in the EFL Championship. Right, so we're in the Championship in England and uh, straight to the end of the season. And unfortunately, Derby never got promoted using this tactic. Uh, Nottingham Forest did, though. <laughs> but uh, no, they were, Derby were predicted. I think they were predicted 13th. Uh, 14th, they were predicted. And they came 9th. So it's not too bad. It is an improvement. Uh, Waghorn did get top scorer with 25. So the tactic does work for the striker. They do end up picking up some uh, some decent amount of goals there. Uh, this time we have got the top three in yellow card sections with Wisdom, Shinny and Clark. 16, 15 and 15. Um, but there was nothing greatly outstanding for Derby using this tactic apart from that. And... Maybe this tactic is for um for the better teams, uh, for the obviously for the better class teams. Maybe you could have got away with putting it on a high class championship team and they would have done well, but they would have done well anyway because they are predicted to come in a high position. But that's not to say that you can't change a few things, maybe do smartly in the transfer window on loan players, um, match up to your tactic, and you could have done better. Uh, they had some good results. At the end of the day, and some of their players played well, not everyone. The whole team isn't in greens there. Uh, but Waghorn in all competitions got 27. Then you got Holmes there, 14. Tom Lawrence, uh, four, uh, 12 and 12. Uh, so he did pretty well. Uh, your biggest creator of the team, obviously, Wayne Rooney. Um, he did very well. Uh, he's an old boy now, but still got the uh, stats uh, to, uh, to do his job. Not quite the striker that he once was. And his physicals aren't quite there anymore. But he does his job. He's there to get his coaching badge, isn't he? So he's on a decent amount of money for a championship player, 50k. And it always gives you the chance if you want to you wanna manage Derby County, you get to manage Wayne Rooney again. Uh, take him back up to uh, the Premier League and you, and you might have one final season in the Premier League before he retires. Um, but yeah, that's the tactic. The Miss Chenandlebong. Uh, so thanks for that. Thanks for uh, sending me on Twitter. And... Uh, and I did it for you. Hope you liked it. Hope you liked the thumbnail design and everything like that. And uh, yeah, guys, if you uh, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe, like. Uh, more content is obviously going to be out. I'm going to try and get it out as regularly as possible. Maybe even two a day. Don't know. Um, so cheers for watching. See you later. Bye.